everybody, Nancy here from Fancy Nancy Diamond Painting. Puppies are all sleeping, so I'm doing a couple without them, but if you stick around to the end, I try to put videos and pictures and things so you get to see them. I've got a diamond painting unboxing for you. Let's share and see what we got. I want to say there's two in here because I see two foam cores. Oh, there's a kit. It's standard green boat with a funnel, pink pen with a single and a six tip, tweezers, and a chunk of wax. All right, let's see. I guess there's only one they added this just to fill the bag up. Oh, wait, there's something else in there. Oh, that's the beads because they wrapped it around a foam core. Boy, do I need to pick up all this garbage over here. There's the tool kit. There's the beads and there's a inventory sheet in there. And this is this beautiful girl blowing bubbles. I went on a bubble spree. I've got like four or five with bubbles. And uh, bubbles are so pretty. So let's open it up and take a look at it. It is, yeah, full drill round. There's, something, there's a lot of tape on this one. Hmm. You can't see it, but I have a huge pile of garbage over here. It's, it's all the packaging and all the plastic, plastic bags, foam cores. I just, I let it pile up till it's as high as the bed and then I take a garbage bag and clean it all up and then my poor husband has to carry it outside. Okay. I bought this one because of the bubbles, but I was not totally thrilled with the colors. It's more red than anything else, I think. Um, and that's okay. I'm more of a pink and purple kind of girl. Okay, this paper's not cut, so it's making it very difficult to peel up. Once it's peeled up and put down this first time, I don't mess with it again until I'm actually doing it. And then I'm, um... I like to cut it off when I've finished an area. Some people like to just place it back down, but you know, I don't have a lot of dust and dirt in my house. My dogs do not shed. I shed, I shed way more than my dogs do. Poodles don't shed, Yorkies don't shed, which is wonderful. So as soon as an area is finished, I take my little baby box cutter and I cut it off, cut the paper off so that the beads are just exposed so I can see my progress. Unless it's a clear plastic, that one I just pick it up and I put it right back down. And... Um, when I've done so much that it won't stick anymore, there's no more sticky surface to stick it to, that is when I just take the paper off and finish it. So there, if I have her the right way, I don't, I, I feel like, boy, it's so hard when it's exposed. There we go, hold on. There it is. 
She's blowing and the bubbles are coming out this way. There's a lot of bubbles. Very pretty. I'm sorry if you can't see this very well, but it will I will put the picture up. It's a 50 by 40 full drill round. Can't wait to see how the bubbles come out. I'm, I just, I love bubbles. So that's it. I'll put it in the description whether all the drills are there or not. Wow, look at this colors. Look at all of the like orange and peach in there. That's a lot. Again, this one has no 310. I like when there's no 310. Um, there's no 939 either. It's, the dark colors are like really dark brown, beige. Very nice. I'm very happy with this. And the drills all look good. Sticky drills is is just miserable, but um, hopefully none in here. Thanks so much for joining me. I think this is another successful one. I really like it. I like the design. I, I can't wait to see the bubbles. Um, there's more videos coming, so I'll catch you in the next one. Um, hit like if, if you like my videos and subscribe and if you ring the bell you'll be t you'll be notified when my videos come out. So thank you again. I really appreciate everybody's support and you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.